True was once used mostly as a verb, <clears throat> and the verb use of true still exists in the English language in carpentry, where you, where you true a line or you true a board. But you could say that to true something or someone is to align it with its purpose. Our evolution of consciousness, our spiritual development and so forth, it happens much more than we would like to think through gifts, through things that come to us that are attracted by the readiness and the need, but are not something that we can uh, claim as an accomplishment. For me, it's more fruitful to inquire what are the conditions from which such choices arise. Perhaps even though our primary function is to true each other, we can also true ourselves. Didn't used to feel true to quit the job that pays the mortgage and, you know, jump out into the unknown. Like that did not feel true, but maybe now it feels true because the readiness has ripened. Um, if you feel that readiness and perhaps also feel the pull of a no longer true, but still very comfortable state of being, state of effectiveness, and, and the whole world that has magnetized to that and surrounds you and environs you and habitates you and, and you feel burdened by that. And I don't know how to put it down. I don't have the courage to do that. And what do I do? And I feel stuck and I feel torn. What do I do? So my invitation is to give attention to the readiness. Even if it coexists with 99% doubt and fear, to give attention to the readiness and then to trust what that readiness will bear as you fuel it with your attention.